For over 37 years, Child Fund International has been operating in Uganda, working through Child Fund Uganda. It also associates with locally based community organizations that focus on improving the lives of children from birth to young adulthood and with their family, local organizations and communities to create the environment that children need to thrive. We design programs that help children uh, from the ages of 0 to 5 years, from 6 to 14 and uh, from 15 up to 24 years. Our programming is categorized as life stage based programming. Each life stage has its own requirements and expectations and uh, by grouping the target population in that way allows us to respond to the needs of the various groups. In this life stage, we implement specifically in that in this stage, children basically need health, mm -hmm. we, need to, we need issues of nutrition, and we do issues of maternal health, because we believe that a child begins from zero years when it's conceived, mm -hmm. to those who to the age of five years. We have a sponsorship program that we are operating, working in partnership with Child Fund International, where vulnerable children are enrolled on our sponsorship program. Nebambu Zambu, Batu Gambia, to Je or to Buli, the Choyagala Mumakagano, Choyagala, the Choyagam Makagano, Gonagona, or to Buli, to Gula, to Agula Masepiche, Vidomole. Ebidomolo no budidi ne ne gari kati kapito ne nsiga zake mitwala abidi kati we nsiga zake mitwala abidi nga ntandikira okusubula kusubula ne ntandiko kusubula mwogo lumonde kati we nasubule mere iyo kati gundi magoba ne nzimba mu nyumba eno as we have these children we want to see them healthy so all programs designed in life stage 1 they are geared towards empowering the parents to have children healthy and secure. This is where we believe that a child requires what we call basic education. Mm -hmm. And basic education, this is ensuring that the safe the environment in which the child is learning mm -hmm. in is safe. That is ensuring that there is safe learning environment at school, mm -hmm. ensuring that the teachers who are receiving these children at school have their capacity enhanced and built on top of the training they have received. It's one that the structures in which the children are, are studying in from are well constructed and they are conducive for the learning. This is where we are responding to issues of, 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 of menstrual hygiene, of changes in, in, the, in the lifestyle of the children. These are government schools. We don't have our own private schools. We support government schools infrastructure development in terms of classrooms, in terms of big latrines to respond to hygiene and sanitation issues at school. In this school, mm. have the enough desk to the children sit and, and learn very well. There is enough water to drink mm -hmm. and to avoid and to avoid diseases. We basically look out for those potential youth targeting our enrolled families who would have maybe wanted to study or do something but because of the limitations here and there they are just they are seated in homes so we pick those youth up uh, we mentor them on vocational skills different trades and then we enroll them for the trainings after we have trained them on different trades they have selected we support them with the startup kits and then we continue as an office to do monitoring to see how they are doing well, just to improve on their livelihoods. I do celebrate almost everything that I got from them. I am very happy. Because there is nothing I can say that this one is even more than the other one. Because they are almost working in me. All of them are tying on me. Eh? They are helping me. So I cannot select even one that this one worked very well. But our device would be the best. I've bought some cows like about six then i have goats at home 
then chicken chicken now i don't i cannot even count then cultivating now i have cassava like three three acres mm. we have uh, uh, activities that help uh, build the economic uh, economic household economic strengthening where where uh, families are brought together uh, to form VSL groups they are educated and they start saving and these uh, savings have helped them to to transform their life chokane pala mitwalo nsambu ne ntunde ente yange mitwalo makumi atano nenzira yo mu saving ne ola yo mitwalo chenda nengula pichi nende te waka pichi nge sasula loni e tulisa ko chokulya abana basoma ne bibanja bambi ati wenjogerera wano mu saving nge funye mu bibanje ebyo bina kale si bibanja ne takali enkoze sa okulima ne picho yo okubiri evude mu mwene yasoka think the community is growing think the community is being resilient think the households being able that is where just when i see that people are changing yeah I'm working with people and at least there's some change from before when I started working with them. That is enough for me.